everyone! Welcome to another Pilates math class for beginners. So, without any further ado, let's get started. We're gonna sit facing this way here on your seat bones and as usual, we're going to slowly roll back down to the mat. So make sure that you contract the abs, don't shrug your shoulders and slowly we're going to go down. If you need to hold on your thighs, do so, okay? Very good. Bring the knees to the chest. Here, stretch a little bit your lower back. Place your heels on the, the mat. We're going to stretch a little bit your neck. We're going to look to one side and back to the center. Look to the other side. Don't push too hard here, okay? And back to the center. Just one more each side. Back to the center, last one, and back to the center. Stretch your arms all the way up, rib cage close to a little circle. Again. Last one. Good, right to reverse that circle. Nice, two, and three. Also, always respect your joint uh, flexibility. You don't need to make it that large. Bring the knee in again. We're gonna extend one leg up and we're just gonna do a few movements like this to warm up your hip joint. You can make it a little larger uh, every time. Good. Now we're going to reverse. Make it as low, as small, or as large as it feels comfortable and appropriate for you. All right. Bending the knee. Let's do it this leg. So start it small. Two. And then you go exploring. And three. Reverse, one, two, and three, nicely done. Let's extend one leg out, keep this knee in, let's do a few stretches on your hamstrings to start, one, inhale, exhale, two, good, again. Good, now here we're gonna hold a little bit. See if you can loosen it up, those hamstrings. Make sure that we're nice and safe. Exercising a little stretch. Good, bending the knee. Bring the other knee in, inhale. Exhale, switching legs. Here we go, exhale. As you extend the leg, inhale and bend. One, I'm adjusting my pants here. And two. And three. And now we're going to extend and stay. See if you can lose it up. Your hamstring, shoulders down. Mm. Holding on the stretch a little bit. Okay. Now bend that knee, well done. Bring the other knee in here. Let's take a deep breath in. Let's do a couple row ups with the new knee bends, new <laughs> knee bends. So here contract the abs and we come up. Then here you extend and reach. Inhale and row back down. So this is for you who still won't, don't have a lot of strength on your abs and you need help coming up. Just so you make it safe, so you don't arch your back when you're coming down. Now for the more advanced ones, if you have been really good and you're already rolling up, you just go straight with the leg extended. And again, reach. And now last one, we're going to 
stay, okay? Right here. And stay. And now roll back up nice and tall. Align your ears with the shoulder and the hip. Flex your feet. Keep the legs together. Watch your foot to not do this movement here when we're doing this exercise. We're going to do this spine twist. We already uh, explained that to you. So you can look at the other videos and make sure to link them down below. But here we go. Nice and tall. We're going to inhale to prepare. Exhale, looking at that arm that opens. And you go as far as you can without like losing the form, right? So you want to be nice and tall with the chest open and you go and then back to the center. When you come here to the center, you grow even taller. So let's go to the other side, same thing. Back to the center, you grow even taller. Again, now I want you to pay attention on your feet when you're going doing this to not do that, right? Otherwise we're losing here the placement of the pelvis and back to the center. Other side, you go all the way, reach, reach, back to the center. Now let's do more fluent. Center and taller. Other side. Center and taller. Two more. Center and taller. Last one. Center and taller. Well done. All right, putting your, uh, your hands down here. We're going to go to your sides. I want to do some glutes work with you today. Ready? So let's go. The best way to do this exercise is by extending one arm like this and just resting your neck here. You can always feel free to add a pillow here if you would like. Okay, but this is the safest way. Usually, um, now you want to bring your knees right on top of your hip here. Um, and we're going to start by extending the back leg. Okay? And from here, we're going to lift and lower. And lift and lower. And lift and lower. And lift and lower. Well done again. Lift and lower. Lift and lower, lift and lower, and lift and lower. Well done right here. What you did was eight. So now we're going to do this. Look, we're going to bring the leg in front. But make sure when you bring in front and back, you are not moving the pelvis, okay? This is hard with the angle that I have on my camera one day maybe. If I get a lot of subscriptions, I can get a better equipment and have you see exactly how the angle should be. Basically, the hip needs to be aligned here in this way. Cannot uh, go front or back. It cannot move. Okay, five. We're going to do three more. Three. You can feel this. And two. It feels good. <laughs> And one. Okay, from here, guys, we're going to bring the knee in front and extend out. One, bringing front and extend out. Two, bringing front and extend out. Three, bringing front and extend out. Four, bringing front and extend out. Five, bringing front and extend out. Six. Bringing front, extend out seven, bringing front eight. Well done, and now little circles. One, two, three, four, and reverse. Four, and three, and two, and one. Yes, bring the knee in here, extend the lower leg, stretch your glutes. You may now even open out, like bring the arm down here to a T, open to the other side. Don't push, just have it feel good, okay? Nice. All right, you guys, we need to do that 
on the other side. So I want you to keep watching the camera. So we're just gonna sit up and move this way. So we do the other side and we still keep seeing each other. Breathe in. <laughs> All right, guys. So lower arm extended. Okay, right here. Remember knee right here in um, um, tabletop. Knee right aligned to your hip. We're gonna extend the, the lower leg, the, the the upper leg, and here we go up and one, up and two. You see, it's not going too high. Three, it's not supposed to, it's just a good workout. Four, okay? Five, plus you're a beginner, we're just doing basic steps. Six, and seven, and eight, well done. So now your front, and back, and front, and back. So this is an introduction to the pendulum. And three, you see that we have the lower leg in a tabletop? Four, because that's beginner class. Okay, five. <laughs> we can do both legs extended, extended in the future. Okay, six. <laughs> and seven. And eight, yes. Okay, so. Uh, molly, Molly, I almost forgot what is the next one. Mm. We're gonna bring it in. I didn't. And we extend out one. And we bring it in. And we extend out two. Bring it in. You see that you're doing like an inclined thing here. And it brings to the floor. And four. Uh huh. And five. Yeah, I want you to do that so you have a big angle here to work your glutes. Six. So having your glutes stronger, slowly we're gonna get everything stronger where we get more advanced and we can do more advanced work. Good? Okay, it's a good deal, right? Okay, so here we go. Let's do the small circles. One and two, Woo three and four. Reversing now. Four. See, it's very important to keep that pelvis stable. That's why I left the lower leg bent. Okay, three and four. Ooh, 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 that feels really good. Extend the lower leg so you can stretch those glutes and bring arm in front and stretch. Oh yeah, that feels wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. All right, bring me. Going back to the center of your mat. I'm feeling like we did a great job today. We're just gonna finalize with uh, bringing the knee to the chest. And I want to start um, teaching you guys to do like a movement that we're gonna need to do to roll over when we get more advanced. But we need to start from somewhere. So I just want you to keep your pelvic uh, pelvic placement stable here like meaning totally on the mat right now and you're just gonna do little movements like this with your leg without moving the pelvis just to practice you see like you're doing this okay now I would like you to start going more ambitious and with the, the help of your hands however you don't want to have that help too much just a tiny little bit because the work should come from your abs. We're gonna try to lift the leg up straight, like this, straight up to the ceiling. This works greatly your lower abs. So it's like this, very tiny, you see? Two, just tiny, don't hurt yourself. It's controlled, three. So it's like, ooh, four, just a tiny little movement. If you feel at any time on your lower back, I need you to stop immediately. Okay, it just feels like you're, it tells you that you're not ready yet. But we gotta start from somewhere, so I'm introducing that to you. You're at your home, so I don't know at your level right now. I would be able to tell if we were in a class together, but you have to be your own watcher <laughs> and make sure that you're not hurting yourself there okay on the process but this is a great way to start 
gaining some strength on the lower abdominals. I mean, there is no lower abdominals because it's usually a, a group of muscles and the reps of dominance goes all the way down, but it's the lower part of that muscle right now that we would be using in order to curl up this way. And I'm talking, 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 right? <laughs> so let's do just two more, okay? Two. And one. All right, how was that? Fun? Okay. So we're gonna try a little more advanced now. Like we're gonna try to do faster. We're only gonna do eight. So again, if you feel any pain on your lower back, anything weird, stop immediately, okay? So we're gonna just try to do it in a row like this. It's gonna kinda look funny, but it's really good for you. So it's like two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See, I didn't even lift too much and because this is a beginner class. And as I told you, I'm <laughs> coming back in shape with you. I was in a huge hiatus from working out, from nothing. Zero, nada, okay, so I'm with you. Um, so basically, we're going to do that one more time. It's, you saw how simple that was. It was just, I'm barely lifting my hip. So it's basically just engaging those muscles, basically look just contracting and coming back down. Ready? We're gonna do now 20, because it's possible. Again, if you're feeling pain, you don't do it. Just, just forward this uh, video, okay? So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can put your hands behind your head like that. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Woo! <laughs> oh. It's so hard to get back in shape, right guys? But I'm here with you. We're gonna do this together, all right? Okay, so let's roll up one more time. Inhale, look, remember, not popping the ribcage, close it down, exhale, we're coming up, and we're going to do another stretch, right here, ooh, stay on this stretch, for eight, and seven, and six, five, four, three, two, and one, roll back up. My hair must be a mess, but so must be yours, haha. -ha. <laughs> I'm not funny, right? Sorry. Anyways, this is the end of our session today, and I'm looking forward to see you here tomorrow, okay? Don't miss it. Bye.